There are three different types of Echo Dot fourth generation devices. And in today's video, we're gonna unbox all of them and show you the difference between each and how they work. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. So here we have the Echo Dot fourth generation. We have the Echo Dot with clock fourth generation. And here we have the Echo Dot Kids Edition fourth generation dot. So there's a little bit difference between all of these, but today we're gonna show you how they are all the same and exactly what's different. Here on the side of the box, you can see that they all have the 3.5 millimeter line out. So unlike the Echo fourth generation, these don't have the line in. So these only do line out. They have the Bluetooth audio, they have hands-free with Alexa, and they have the microphone mute on and off. And then here on the back, Alexa is always happy to help. Let's go ahead and see what's inside the box. First, the Echo Dot fourth generation. Here you can see the Echo Dot, pretty small little ball there. It comes with power cable as well as instructions. So that's one of the devices. Next, let's go ahead and do the Echo Dot Kids Edition. Now this will also come in a Panda. This is the Tiger version. And this does come with one year of kids content with Amazon Free Time Unlimited. So that's a paid subscription, but when you purchase this one, it is already enabled. Now you can enable Free Time on these other devices. I'll show you how to do that in a bit. So here we have the Echo Dot Tiger. We have this guide for kids our power cable, and then we have Echo Dot instructions for kids. And this is a fun little guide on different things that you can ask your Amazon device. And last here, we have the Echo Dot with clock. So far, these are pretty much the same. This one does have a clock built inside. As you can see, all the power cables are the same color. Here it has some setup information. And so there we have our three different devices. And on the back, they all have the input for the power cable, as well as the 3.5 millimeter audio out. And then here on the top, you do have your mute button. So when you press mute, it's going to glow red around the bottom showing you cannot speak to it. Um, and then you have your volume controls and you have the action button where you can push that to activate Amazon Assistant. So these will all be set up the same. We're going to do that here with the Echo Dot with clock. For the setup, we are just going to plug in our Echo Dot. Hello, your device is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app. Hola, vamos a empezar. Instala la app de Alexa y sigue las instrucciones. Bonjour, votre appareil est prêt pour la configuration. Téléchargez l'application Alexa et suivez les instructions. Bringing your device online. Just a moment. Your Echo is ready. Now, since I purchased this on my account, it automatically linked it to my Wi-Fi and everything, and it's ready to go. If you don't see that option, you wanna head into the Amazon Assistant app. You're gonna to head to Devices. You're going to select the plus, and then select Add Device. Choose Amazon Echo, and then Echo or Echo Dot. And it will probably have an orange ring. You're going to select yes, and then go through the process to add it to your account. Now to change the name of our Echo device, we're gonna to head to the Echo and Alexa option, and we're gonna scroll through and find our different devices. So here we have Brett's third Echo Dot. That's what it named this one, and you can easily tell by just changing the volume. And when I change the volume over here, you can see that the device is changing. So I'm gonna select edit name. The new name is going to be Echo Dot Clock. And then make sure you select enter to save that name. Now let's go ahead and look at the settings here with the clock. So right here you can adjust the volume just by simply going up. You also have the controls right here to adjust the volume. And it will say the number of the volume here on the screen. So you can see I'm at six or five. So it's nice that you have that visual input of where the volume is actually at. Here you have audio settings. So you can adjust the bass, mid-range, or the treble. Next, you have Bluetooth devices. So there's two ways in which you can do this. One is I could turn on pairing mode and pair my phone over to this. Or if I have a bigger speaker, I could pair my Echo Dot 
to the bigger speaker to play music onto. Now I actually have a full in-depth video on how to use all these Echo settings that I'll leave at the end that you can see for the new Echo fourth gen. Next, you have the option to change Wi-Fi. Here you have what speaker it's going to use. So you can have the preferred speaker in the room. You can also have Alexa automatically choose. You can have it use the built-in speaker or you can have it use the aux cable if you do have something plugged in or you can choose Bluetooth there. Scrolling down here, you do have the option to make a stereo pair with a subwoofer. Here it's showing what we could pair together. Let's say we choose the clock one and then it will only allow you to pair with other speakers that are the same type. So I could pair it with my Echo Dot 4th Gen or I could pair it with my kid's Tiger speaker here. If I choose a third generation, you can't pair those with the fourth generation. So only the same type of speaker can pair with the same generation of speaker. We're not gonna do that now, but that's how you can create a pair so you can have more full sound and right and left stereo speakers. Next, you have the option to pair with a gadget. So if you have a gadget like some of the clocks, you would be able to pair those together here. Now going back, you have tap gestures. So you can actually snooze an alarm. Set an alarm in 30 seconds. 30 seconds, starting now. Here's another option. It's showing you your alarm or your timer right here on the clock so that you can then see how long it is without having to ask Amazon Assistant to see how much time is left. Alexa. Stop. Alexa. Set an alarm at 5.16 p.m. Alarm set for 5.16 p.m. tomorrow. And now that my alarm is set, it also is showing a dot indicating that there is an alarm set. You can also press the action button to dismiss the alarm. Here you have sounds, so this is where you can adjust the alarm sound. You can change the notification or no notification. And you can also change if this is going to be a communication device and if it starts a ding at the start of the request, end of the request, and as a sound detection device. So that is where you can customize all the sounds. Next, you have free time. So right now, this is disabled on this device. But if I wanted to enable free time, it would then give me the options where it's only going to allow certain information to be played on this, very similar to what you would get with the Echo Dot Tiger. The Tiger's just a bit cuter. So you then have the option to adjust your free time settings, but all of these devices have that free time option. Next, you have Do Not Disturb. So if you don't want the Echo Dot to go off when somebody calls your home or when it's late at night and you have this set up to ring with your Ring Video Doorbell, you could turn on Do Not Disturb. You can turn off the communication feature. So if you don't want people to be able to call this or announcements to call this, you could do that as well. An announcement is where it sends a message to all of your different speakers. Alexa. Announce, I'll be home in 30 minutes. Announcing. I'll be home in 30 minutes. So there it sent an announcement to all of my different Echo devices on my account. And then here you have the drop-in feature. So this is one of my favorite features where you can instantly talk through your Echo device. So that if this is in a kid's room and you wanna to talk to them, you could drop in on them without them having to touch anything. And it's how you do that is you go to the communicate tab, you select drop in, and then here you can choose what device you wanna drop in. So I can drop in on my Echo fourth gen, my kid's tiger, um, so anything that's connected to your account, but let's go echo dot with clock. Hello, how are you? And so that allowed me to talk instantly through this device, through my phone, or you can use another echo device. You just ask it to drop in on a speaker and it will do that as well. And then here you have the option to change the location of the device. So that will help with getting weather information. You can change the time zone. Here you can adjust the wake word. So if you want it to start by um, this word, or you can start by Amazon or computer or Echo, you have the options for all of these speakers. And then you have the option to turn on a follow-up mode. So follow-up mode allows you to give a command. And then without having to say the wake word again, you can give the command again. So you would turn that on there. And then if you wanna change your language, here you have the different language options, English, Espanol, and then down here, there are a bunch of other languages as well. 
And then here you can change your measurements. So if you want to go from Fahrenheit to Celsius or miles to kilometers, you have all of those options. And then here you can deregister it from your account. And then here we have the LED display. So the LED display option is only on the dot with clock. So in here, we have the option to turn the display off. And when you turn it off, you have no idea the display is actually there. You can't see it at all. Here you have the option to change the brightness of the display. So we can go to zero brightness or up to 10. And then we have adaptive brightness. So it's automatically going to adjust based on the room. And then you have the 24 hour clock. So if you want that, you have that option there. Alexa, set the volume to four. What's the weather? Currently, in Orem, it's 35 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly cloudy skies. Cancel my alarms. 12.28 p.m. alarm canceled. Turn on Brett's lamp. Turn off Brett's lamp. Set the display brightness to 0%. Set the brightness to 50%. Set the brightness to 100%. Change to 24 hour clock. Okay, clock is set to 24 hour format. Change to 12 hour clock. Okay, clock is set to 12 hour format. Turn off the clock. Turn on clock. So that is all the settings on the Echo Dot with clock. Let's go in and just double check that the Echo Dot fourth generation doesn't have anything different. So here you have audio settings, you've got the wireless, you have connected devices. Uh, right here, it's missing the LED option. So that's not on here because there is no clock available. You still have the tap gestures. You still have the option to turn on free time. And so pretty much everything else is going to be the exact same on this device other than the LED clock options. And last, let's check out the Kids Tiger. So here we have all the same options. Again, no LED, you do have the tap gesture. Here, free time is disabled, but let's go ahead and turn it on on this device. Complete setting up free time on this device in the Alexa app. And here it's giving me the option to set up my one free year of free time unlimited because I purchased the kids edition device. So let's go ahead and set that up. So here you can choose which child is going to use this device. Now, if you don't have your kids set up there, you can select add child there. But let's go ahead and choose that uh, Claire is going to use this. Select continue, and now it's Hello. registering this device. To learn more about all the things we can do together, just say, Alexa, let's go. And so here it's saying we've enabled the popular Alexa features in the kid-friendly way. So here you can use certain music providers. It has enabled an explicit filter. Um, you are also able to use communication and call and all those features are available still in free time. At first, when free time came out, you couldn't control smart home devices, but now you can, which is really nice. So we're gonna select continue. And here it's showing us some of the different things that we could do. So we could open a free time, we can play music, we can ask different questions, we can communicate by drop-in and calling and messaging, and you have the option to set alarms, and you can have it read stories, and there's a parental dashboard as well that you can control all of the settings that are available. So once you're done, you can select the X up here and now the free time is enabled. And if you wanna adjust any of the settings, you can go into here in free time settings and you can select a child and then it's actually going to take you into this section where you can control all of the different content that is available. So here you can add specific content, you could set daily limits, uh, here you can see the devices that are enabled. You can enable communication, smart home access, music, and personalized skills. Now there are certain skills that are approved when you are using free time. Now let's go ahead and try some commands. Alexa, turn off glitter. Okay. Alexa, turn on glitter. Okay. Alexa, set glitter to blue. Okay. Alexa, read me a story. Getting the selection from Claire's Audible Library. Resuming Beauty and the Beast. And now a sound comparison between the Echo Dot 3 and the Echo Dot 4th Gen.
While well, the Echo Dot 3 did sound pretty good, the fourth gen sounds much better, more clear, and I felt like it had much more bass. Now that we've gone through all the differences between the Echo Dot fourth generations, the next thing is to compare it to the new Echo fourth generation. So here is the new one that I've already done a full video about. And as you can see, one of the main differences is the size. So it's much larger, it's going to give you much more sound. Now there are a few other features that this has that these other ones don't have. So the first one, like I mentioned before, is this has an audio input. So if you have a computer and you wanna plug a computer into this for a speaker, you are able to do that. With these, you can't do it by plugging them in, but you can do it over a Bluetooth connection. Next, this has a temperature sensor built in on the device. So it can know the temperature in your room and you can integrate that into your different Amazon Assistant routines where these don't have that option. Uh, the third thing is this has a Zigbee hub built in. So that means you can connect different smart devices directly to this that require a hub, a Zigbee hub. But with these, they can't be connected directly to this. The devices would need to be compatible with your Wi-Fi, connect to your Wi-Fi, and then you can control them with these devices, all of these devices in that case. So those are the three main differences. And then the last feature that would be different about these are the sound. So let's go ahead and play some music over here on the Echo Dot with Clock. And then I'm gonna play some music over here on the Echo fourth generation so that you can see the difference. Now this is playing over Bluetooth, so it might not be as high of quality as playing over Wi-Fi. This is the loudest. All right, let's try it with the Echo fourth gen. So the Echo fourth generation has a much louder sound. The device is even shaking because there is so much bass coming out of it compared to the smaller Echo Dot, but they both work as pretty good speakers. I definitely would prefer the sound of the Echo fourth gen in a bigger room. And so those are all the new Echo devices compared to the new Echo fourth generation. If you have a question about any of these devices, please let me know in the comments below. And today I didn't really go into voice commands and things that you can do. Hopefully you've seen a few of those videos before, but if you wanna check out my kids edition video where you can learn about things that you can do with the kids edition, check out the video over here on the side. And to see my full ultimate startup guide for your Echo device, check out the video over here. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next one.